We got involved with the German tree, with Lena, because Lena's German, very proud of it. <laughs> and so we've done that for many years with the Springerlies, putting them on the tree and baking for the Meyer family. My father learned to make them in 1930, and he's worked with German bakers. Years ago, when I was with Myers, Fred came over and says, Steve, I hear you make Springerlies. I said, my father does. And he said, our family just took a trip to Germany, and we found Springerlies, and it's the only thing we want for Christmas. And so I called up my father, and I said, I need 18 dozen Springerlies. We make a windmill for Fred. Lena's German, Fred is Dutch, so we want to make sure to remember Fred on the tree with his windmill. Right. And it's, it's been a great tradition. How's it look, my dear? Beautiful. <laughs> The dark Scandinavian winter is made brilliant with candlelight. Our Hispanic community celebrates the Virgin Mary with a miraculous cloak. Dutch children delight as a benevolent saint parades through town with his beautiful horse. An ancient Jewish symbol illustrates the power of faith. While the distances may be great, and the languages may be different. For all of us, the holidays are filled with joy. We celebrate in different ways, with different foods and different songs, with traditions born centuries ago, still vital today to gladden hearts across the world and in our own community. The name Lucia means light. Throughout Scandinavia, known for its long dark winters, St. Lucia is remembered and celebrated with a wreath of candles worn as a crown. Both her hands free to bring sustenance and comfort on the longest night of the year by the ancient calendar. St. Lucia is remembered here in our community as well. A day of feasting, a day of song, a day marking the arrival of Christmas time, a day when the long darkness is transformed into hope and joy.
the drum and pulse of celebration, ancient rhythms that bring us together. This is the heartbeat of an ancient story told again. The visions of Juan Diego, the doubting archbishop, the cloak carrying the roses found on a desert hilltop, the cloak that when open reveals a miraculous painting, Our Lady of Guadalupe. This sacred and celebrated image, impossible to explain, is of the Virgin Mary, an image enshrined in the most venerated and visited Catholic pilgrimage site in the world, the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City. And here, in our community, so far from the site of that miracle, we still feel the wonder and the beauty of faith. Three, dos, uno. Tradicionales mañanitas. Nos ponemos de pie. Out in the wind, out in the cold, here is an enormous symbol in a very public place. Welcome to the Grand Menorah Lighting Celebration. Thank you all for joining us tonight. This celebration, Hanukkah, welcomed by our community and a delight to Jewish followers, must be out here for all to see. That's the point of it. That's the magic of the Festival of Lights, a celebration of a people no longer in hiding, a celebration of a miracle, of lamps that would not extinguish, of faith that would not diminish. And each day, for eight days, another lamp is lit. It's out here for all of us to embrace as our community grows in understanding of each other. We're more than friends here, more than believers. The hands that set the table, the hands that make the delectable lacquers, the hands that play the instruments, are the hands of family. menorahs, each brought from home, are of every shape and size, as individual as the personalities in the room. Please rise for the blessing, and this is the last night of Hanukkah.
Everywhere you look in the glow of holiday lights are new treasures, new treats, new dreams. Sinterklaas, the Dutch Saint Nicholas, is here. The heart of every child beats faster on this magical night. Sinterklaas, the patron saint of children and sailors with his staff and mitre. Three generations. He arrives on his beautiful horse, Amerigo. cheerful paper lanterns glowing to show the way as children go to meet Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> 